Today I want to show you another project I've been working on. It's called MOSFET.NET and it's a simple technology news source. MOSFET is a different kind of news site which focuses on the latest updates and breakthroughs in technology and the goal was to do it in a way which makes it easy to keep up with the increasing speed of technological change. I tried to do something similar-ish with Node News a few years ago but I now realise it was an incomplete idea. MOSFET builds on what I learned and I think is a way better experience. I wanted to keep the whole thing very simple so the main site is basically a list of the latest news and nothing more. Each post is a one to three paragraph summary of the topic at hand, plus any source links or videos for further learning. Each post expires after 30 days, so you're only ever seeing the latest. That makes it easy to quickly go through the days or weeks events by clicking on headlines or using the J or K keys on the keyboard. It's kind of like a mix between a tech news site and a feed reader. You can tailor which information you see by choosing categories in the settings menu, making it easier to hide topics you're not interested in. There's also a bunch of theme options available to tailor the look of the site. I really like the old school amber terminal personally. You can toggle the image and video filters too if you want them off. Feeds are auto generated and available in the top left so you can get your news via an RSS reader if you want. The MOSFET or Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor is one of the most significant inventions that has enabled this hyper technological world that we live in today. They're basically the foundation of many electronic components that we have used since the 1960s, such as processors, memory chips, power devices, etc. And apparently they're the most manufactured device of any kind in human history. It seemed fitting to use the name. Hopefully this can become a useful tool for all the inventors and engineers out there as a way to keep up with the fast pace of change and maybe spark some ideas too. It could be a prime candidate for some type of machine learning system to semi-autonomously find and create the posts, so maybe that's a future possibility. I'm just going to start off small and see where it goes. Check it out or subscribe to the feeds if you want. I'll also be posting about new node projects on the site, so it'll be another way to stay updated with the things I'm working on. Thanks for watching everyone. I also wanted to mention that the other day I found a box of the last remaining handful of node zines, so if you missed them before and you'd like a hard copy you can pick up volume 1 and volume 2 together. There's only a few copies left so get one before they run out. And by the time this video comes out I'll also have contacted the person who won the Christmas giveaway so check your emails. Thanks to all those who entered, it was very cool and humbling to read about all your projects. Sorry I couldn't get back to everyone, there was so many to go through, but I did read them all. Anyways, thanks again for watching and Happy New Year.